New York City is a city of books. There are many booksellers, bookstores, booksellers on the streets and everywhere, and I just love books. I have my best conversations and arguments with the authors of books. I annotate in the margins and argue with them or agree with them or expand on what they have to say. Uh, so that is also where a lot of my thinking and my ideas come from. And at the time, I was reading uh, the works of Maria Gimbutas. Uh, she is an archaeologist that did extensive work on excavating in Turkey or in old Anatolia. And this was a time before patriarchy. It was a time before the written word. So what is left there are images. And of course her interpretation of the images take us back to the Great Mother, take us back to the reverence for the Goddess. So I was thinking to myself, okay, as a lapsed Calvinist, what do I do with this? I am not a particular believer in any particular faith, but religion has woven itself through my thinking and through my world. And how would I uh, create Goddess? So as I was reading Maria Gimbutas and the things the women did, spinning yarn and weaving cloth, I thought, ah, the spinners. This is a, such a wonderful metaphor for growing and becoming. So I started this thinking around what eventually became my book, Song of the Spinners. But I started with the idea of women growing and tending flax and then harvesting the flax, and then preparing the flax into fibers, and spinning the fibers into yarn, and using the yarn to weave, create a weaving frame, and create this wonderful fabric. So in that process, and in my thinking, this fabric manifested goddess. So to me, that was the idea of creating goddess for me.